What's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video today. Um, unfortunately, I was, I'm back to doing these beat making videos. Had a little hiccup, and I kind of started recording, and I didn't know it stopped recording. I looked at my recording software, and it stopped recording. Pissing me off when it does this. But anyway, back to this. Let's just do this intro again. But anyway, I'm um, back to making these beat making videos once again. Um, I've been very busy, and I've been doing a lot. Uh, but now I'm freed up again. I have this project done, this this crazy kit coming out for you guys. It's ready. It's dope, and I'm just back into it. I'm going off viewer requests. It's the one off Facebook. They asked me to do a Bryson Tiller type beat in Studio One. So with that being said, I'm going to do it in Studio One because he specifically said in Studio One. So, haha. <laughs> But um, I am going to be doing your guys' requests. I do see all your requests. Don't get bummed out if I don't get to you in due time. Just give me time. I'm trying to do as many as I can. You guys left over 100 something comments of beats you want me to do. So don't expect me to do all of them in one day. You know, I have to do them in time and try to do as many as I can. Try to do one a day if I can or two a day if possible. So bear with me. Just keep re requesting stuff and hopefully I get to everybody's within due time. So. Yeah, let me know if you want me doing an FL Studio or Studio One too. I don't mind doing it either one. If I don't get a, if you don't tell me which one, which one to specifically do it in, I will just do it in FL Studio. But if you want me to do something in Studio One, definitely you know say in Studio One, I'll definitely get to it. But yeah, so anyway, before we got recorded, I actually had this open. I had this Direct Ways open because this is one the kit sounds going to be in the kit. That sounds good. That's actually going to be in the direct way kit is coming out. It's going to be dropping the 17th, which is it's the 16th now. So when you see this video, it's going to be out. So, yeah, I'll probably put a link in the description when that, when it's fully up. But anyway, so, yeah, we're trying to make a Braxton Tiller type beat. Um, I, I added these little chords right here, and I put a little bit of a holler reverb, and I'd use a little bit of EQ to kind of smoothen it out. So this is what it sounds like, and then we're going to continue from here. But hopefully the, the, the freaking software don't fucking close again. I'm pissed me off anyway. And what I might do, so I quantize it. These are the notes. It's in the C minor. What I might do is humanize it just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of, you know, variation. So it should be like. It's not super noticeable, but just gives like, it just gives a little bit of flavor. Anyway, I got this Mai Tai up. This is actually a preset I made in Mai Tai, which comes with Studio One. It's called Drake Saw Bass. Basically, it's just a Drake bass. Oh, I'm going to play it lower. If you want to see some sound design tips in, you know, Studio One, I don't mind doing using Studio One sound default presets to make stuff. So I'll definitely show you. This is something I made. Very simple, but... It's nice. But anyway, let's continue. So. Got to find that, that, that rhythm. Matter of fact, let's just make the MIDI. So let's draw one the MIDI fan. So we'll just draw me some MIDI. And then we'll see. We'll plug it in. So maybe if I plug it on. Like I said, I'm not trying to exactly get no Bryson Tiller replication. I'm trying to make my own style. Y'all know how I do. You know, because no point in trying to be exactly like the artist or producer. Which I wish you guys would understand. Y'all be left laughing at me when I talk like that. But whatever. Thank you. 
Okay. I like that. I like that. I like that sound. I like that sound. I'm um, go to my files and then whoa, no go to my where is it at? Where's my files at? Bruh. Files. Thank you. Okay. Uh let's go to where is the kush drums and we'll see we got some loops that can work for this i say percussive loops we'll use this one and then we'll stretch it down probably need to make it longer probably need to double it to you if it's on four bring it to about eight then we'll duplicate this by hitting the D button. Then we'll press the P button. There we go. Once again, it stopped recording and I had to freaking restart the freaking recording. It, shit, piss me. Why does it do that? Just go away. Just fucking go away, please. Like, for real. Just, ugh. I hate when it does that. It needs to take that away, that feature. Okay, like I said, I'm trying to get a different sound. Like I said, it's kind of hard to like, oh man, I'm trying to talk to you guys and make a beat at the same time is <laughs> challenging, but I try to do my best. Like you guys don't understand, like making a beat, you know, just in my own zone, in my own mind, making a beat is easy. But when you guys want me to, you know, talk and make the beat, it's like, I got to focus on talking and make the beat at the same time. It's like, uh, the, the beat don't really sound that good, but I'm actually pretty happy. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this one. And hopefully this will show you guys technique. You know, this will show you guys techniques to, you know, make your beats. quantize it go back to here you want to turn your release all the way up when you're using this this is the sample one it's pretty good to use and i always hit that monophonic and turn your release so it plays the whole sample too and that way you'll have it sounding nice and good now we have one of these notes off deletion Boom. Like I said, I'm trying. Like I said, I'm not going for that exact Bryson Tiller sound, you know exactly. 
You know, that's the whole point of this, you know. Not to say, you know, get exactly like Russell Tiller, you don't sound nothing like him. I know it don't. I don't want him to be. That's the whole point of the video. Did not show you guys how to. How to exactly replicate anything. Just to show you guys that you can, you know. You can get some good sounds. And I'm sorry if my like my timing is going to be off because of the the driver I'm using, the ASIO driver. So it is going to be off when I'm doing this. So I do apologize if it if it's cringe worthy, but it's what it is. I don't care. the beat delay oh no 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 the beat delay not working the way I want to so we're gonna let's close these boop 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 I love the routing function of this go to my analog delay There we go, 20%, low cut, about 200. I always do 200 and I always do 2K, it just works for me. And in the mix, I always turn it down to about 30. No, I'll leave it 50. Feedback, 10, and in the mix, yeah, I'll do about 30. Now let's get some, I think some strings would be good up in this. I think some strings will be nice. We're gonna use some contact strings. Contact strings. I think that will probably work pretty good in this instance. Give it time, because it takes time to do this. Okay. Wow, contact your team every time. Uh brown, 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 brown. Then nope. Gotta go to orchestral strings and then string assembled.
And remember, this is my take on a Bryson Tiller type beat, not exactly Bryson Tiller style because I'm not trying to go for the exact style. I say, in the day, you want to be unique and original, so you got to do it. You got to do it. Wow, this is all, that's all. Like I said, because my, these playing notes is just, it's horrible on this. Feeling my bass no more, but actually, I'm gonna keep that and then and then we're going to. I don't know if I should add some drums in here. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's add some drums. Y'all already know I'm going to my kid, of course. I'm going to add my punchy, my... Look at that pew pew. The pew pew drums. Monophonic mixer. I think just knock on you. Now the drum, like I said, the drums are gonna be completely off because, like I said, playing with this. Oh, I, I, I gotta figure out a way to get like better timing stuff because this FL Studio driver sucks. We're trying to make live beats for you guys. Ooh, that actually sounded. That's bad. That might be it. Okay. So we have this now.
now. Let's try this. Let's just go ahead and fuck it up, right? Go ahead, just, just F it up now. Let's just go ahead and get wild and crazy with it, kids. It's off. It's off, all right. It's gonna be majorly off. So let's. Let's go and get the low notes first. Let's go ahead and let's increase the length on it. And this is from the space sauce, by the way. Matter of fact, how do I see if I can? What if I just copy we'll just make all of them touch each other? Yeah, no, nah, I won't do it the way I want to. And going here, and then we go. Let's just bring the length back down so it'll be like. Oh, no, 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 no. right here. Let's go. Something like that. Uh, something like that. We gotta bring this back. Let's notice that. Then we're gonna quantize this. Control all and then bring them all up the max volume. And we're going to just copy these over the snare so. And 
And we're gonna bring down the volume of it. Okay. That when it kind of breaks down. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun right now. This is kind of cool. Uh, then we're going to... I'm going to go back to my Direct Ways kit real quick. And get my strings. And then get the stabs. Oh, I got to go to here. Bring my Direct Ways. Go to here. Because they're going to show up in here. And then boom. Go back. Strings. String stab. This one is hard. I like this sound. here and then record that I messed up I, I did it all wrong dang I had a good I had a good man when I was playing around with it This is fun. I like I like doing these making the beat videos for you guys because it's it's fun and challenging and you know I sometimes come up with some heat, but other times I just come up with nonsense. So play this back. So oh, this needs to it like needs to be over one. around so sound and then we'll throw in one more sound and uh pads uh no space holes pads my favorite one turn it to dark and then
don't know. It's missing something. It's missing something. You know what? It is missing something, and I don't know what. I think it's missing like a pad or something. But you know what? I'm going to let you guys figure it out. Let you guys figure out what I'm going to do for you guys since, you know, that's my little take on making a versatility beat. Hopefully, I gave you guys some ideas and some inspiration to making your beats. Um, what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm, gonna, um, I'm going to export the stems and the MIDI files for you guys for free download. Nope. You know, just give me a like. Just, you know, give me a like on this video. I'm going to give you guys all the stems right here and give you all guys all the MIDI files as well. And you guys can complete the beat at your own leisure. So, hopefully, this will be a good start. Basically, like a construction kit for you guys. So, you know, hopefully it's just, you know just my way of saying thank you guys for supporting me and i hope you guys enjoyed it so once again i'm glad i did this it was actually pretty fun i mean it's unique i mean it's not the best beat but it is definitely pretty good we're going to take away the take away that and then play it again from the beginning So yeah, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna give you guys the MIDI files and this track outs, the stems for this, and you guys can go bonkers and you know make this your own beat and have fun with it. So yeah, once again, y'all know who it is. Your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. Not motivated by money, but like, subscribe, and views. Leave your comments below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, tell me you guys finished the beat. If you finished the beat, submit it. Let me hear what you did. I want. I want to hear if you finished it. Um, also, yeah, let me know what guy. What else you want to see me? create i will definitely try to you know make as many videos as i can depending on what videos you guys want you know to help you guys out so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed as always you know it is your boy slim aka is different not motivated by the money but the like comments cries and views and i do appreciate your viewing this video so i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one everybody